Hey guys, what up? It's Dino here at Tin Can Tuners. Uh, so I bought a set of Kooky tail lights for an S13, of course, that came with a whole entire S13. Um, yeah, but who cares about the car? Look at these tail lights. Look at these things. Whoo! From Japan. All right, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more. But in all seriousness, it's a plenty of project. It's a uh, 92 S13 hatchback. Um, it has no no SE spoiler. It's like the, the base model. It has a manual window, no sunroof, which is what I wanted, which is nice. No high coats like my blue car has. Um, five lug swap and the kooky tail lights. Kooky kooky tail lights. There we go. And uh, yeah, it's in pieces. It's in like three million. You thought Max's the H6 was a project car? This is a real project car. Right? That's a daily driving pair. This thing. Anyway, let me just move this bucket of uh, God knows what parts, some brake pads. Uh, here's the interior. Very clean. Never smoked in. Very clean one owner car. Window tint, like it's like five percent. It's it's like look. Can you see my hand behind that? It's like a little. Yeah, it's like a bad. Yeah, and uh, there's no engine. It's just a shell. There's no wiring harness. Uh, Let's, for, let's go over what's missing that I know of. Oh, walk around here, there's anything. You can see it's missing this little steering shaft. Um, there's no key for it, so I gotta get a key and ignition, because that's why he took it out, because the you know, steering was locked, obviously. Um, what else? It's missing like an engine. Miss, yeah, yeah, it's missing an engine and transmission, that's the good part. Uh, ECU, wiring harness, probably everything else too. But you have all the front end I have, yeah, I have the for front this end. fender. Probably, yeah, I have the front end. The hood's over there. Uh, fender's in the car. Bumper right there next to the max. Seats are right here next to the max. <laughs> a random strut, even though the car has four struts. <laughs> There's like a drive shaft and a half over there. A gas tank's not in it. Dip's not in it. Oh. A lot of content. You can see someone tried to do the stitch welds, the really cool race car stitch welds with their Harbor Freight welder. And they don't know how to weld. So these over here grinded flat, they look okay. So I'm probably just gonna grind the rest of these flat and just leave them in there. I mean they probably they probably do work, but they're just really ugly. Yeah. And the battery tray, I don't know what happened there either. Oh yeah. It's not bond though, that's the thing. Like, I can I can bend it. And it doesn't like crack or nothing, but it's weird. I don't know what's going on there. Alright, so the plans for this car, it will be the K24DE, uh, I'm just going to put an OEM plus rebuild with rods, so it's going to be semi-built, it's going to be ready for boost, uh, but for right away, like, uh, as soon as I build it, it's not going to be turbo, I'm going to leave it NA because I'm broke, wear t-shirts, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's going to be NA for a while, I'm just going to make sure it's all broken in right before turboing it properly, I'm not going to eBay turbo it, but I will, but we'll see soon. Um, I'm gonna paint the engine base soon after I grind all this stuff down, fix whatever whatever that is, uh, make it nice and prepped for paint. I don't know what color to paint it yet. I think it maybe is white again. I don't know. White's clean. And I think black. I think black. I want some flake. I want some sparkles. That's not sparkle, like flake, you know, a little little rice. On the outside of the car, I don't know. What I'm thinking white. Max has black because the car was the car was originally black, so it'd be a lot easier because like the door jams and stuff are already black. This thing has no rust, by the way. There's like, there's like, the biggest spot of rust probably like that big, honestly. It's the rear, that little, like, next to the bumper. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And the frame rail is perfectly straight. Uh, clean title. Hopefully never been wrecked. I can't, I don't see any signs of being wrecked. I mean, there's no, there's nothing hiding yeah. here. <laughs> you know. So, in the recent future of this car, I plan on putting the brakes back on because there's no brakes on it. I plan on undercoating it. Uh, I plan on putting the interior back in it. I don't know why he took it apart, honestly. He just took it apart just to do it, I guess. Paint the fuel tank, put the fuel tank back in it, welding the diff before putting it back in, because there's no point to weld, like put it back in and take it out again to weld it. Engine bay, prep the engine bay for painting, like get rid of the oily boogers, just grind them down, flat wheel or something. And then sand it all for paint. Find a KA, get ready to swap in. So it's a new day, bought some new parts. I uh, bought this fender here, a uh, wiring harness. The ECU uh, ignition with a key right here, and this little steering shaft piece. Bought that all for like 200 bucks. Um, and I gotta put that steering piece in soon. Probably gonna do that right now. Got the uh, steering shaft in. 
Just reassemble the front uh, brake. It's completely in pieces, nothing was bolted on. It's all there, and uh, gotta do the rest of the car. <laughs> Everything's just in pieces in a bucket, and just piece them together, getting it done. I'm gonna go ahead and also undercoat this right now. So, yeah. Okay, so I just finished up the uh, rear brakes. Um, I had to use a specialty tool I had laying around from a long time ago. But uh, all these bolts over here are also loose because he was taking it apart. I guess he just never tightened them again. Okay, so I just put the uh, sway bar back on. Um, yeah, and also it's missing these bolts right here that he took out for some reason. But they're all they're all marked. I mean, so it's not too bad. But it's kind of weird why he would just take off. You know. It's random bolts for absolutely no reason, but uh, I guess I'm just putting everything back together. It's 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 coming along. <laughs> All right, so we pulled all the junk out of the car. Um, we found the, I think that's the, the body harness for the front half of the car. I'm probably like positive it is. It just pulled through because he wanted to paint the engine bay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. You can see behind Max. That's the entire interior of the car. Takes up quite, quite the space. <laughs> but yeah, order the carpet, waiting for the carpet to come in before we start putting it back together. We might put the back half in maybe. But other than that, the front just we're gonna leave it alone. So me and Max just put back some of the interior real quick, and uh, it's all pretty good. It's all like fits pretty good. I mean, of course, it's taken out of this car, but we'll figure it out. We're just getting random. There's a bucket of bolts right there from God knows how many 240s, and we're just grabbing stuff and putting it back in the car. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next time when we prep the engine bay and paint this purple with uh, some some glitter paint. Look at that. The can, the can's already messing up. We haven't even made the video yet. The can's messing up. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that, and also probably more undercoat stuff. And uh, that's it. Subscribe.